And law enforcement agencies across the area gathering today to address the recent spike in violence across the region. This as the groups shared more information about the two teenagers charged with murder in the fatal attempted carjacking in Gates earlier this month. Allie Peters is live for us in Gates. Allie, what's the latest here? Yeah, Adam, it's no surprise that our area has seen an increase in violence during this pandemic. The Gates Police Chief actually is saying today that it is a war zone out there. Now, this comes as we're learning more information about the two teens who have been arrested in connection to that fatal car att carjacking attempt, excuse me, earlier this month. The arrests of Anthony Jacobs and Edgar Tolentino adding to the rising concerns surrounding teens and violence. As we spoke to some of these kids, I was extremely concerned with the hardcore attitude that they had, no moral compass. Today, police giving us a closer look at when these carjackings started. Officials say Tolentino started stealing cars in Florida back in February. They say using Facebook Marketplace, he stole two different cars. Then he drove one back up to our area, where he allegedly continued the carjackings. Some of the techniques they would use, pull up to somebody, and they tell them that their tire was low, and they start talking about their tire, get them out of the car. Uh, they might just jump in the car and steal the car. Police saying there have been 14 carjackings recently in Rochester. We're concerned and we're scared and we're concerned about the people of our communities. But fixing the violence and crime is something area leaders and police say isn't just up to them, but the community. We have to change the hearts and the minds of these young people because if we don't, we're going to lose not only our community, but we're going to lose our country because we cannot continue to go this way. We have got to take back what's going on right now and instill in our loved ones respect and, and put down the guns and to stop that violence. It's got to come from that desire to not have our streets look like a war zone. Now, since that carjacking on April 7th, police say there hasn't been another one in the suburbs. However, they're still concerned with crime and are calling for changes to bail and parole reform. I'll have much more on that coming up for you tonight at 6. Live in Gates, Allie Peters, News 8. All right, Allie, thank you. Both Tolentino and Jacobs have pleaded not guilty to murder in the second degree, and Jacobs is expected in court on Thursday.